Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to enhance and nurture both your inner and your outer beauty. Today, there is a reason why I'm in my shower and it's because I'm sharing with you my body care routine. I recently posted an updated morning skincare and evening skincare routine and it occurred to me I've never actually made a video on my body care. And hey, come on, this skin on our arms, legs, everywhere, chest, is just as important as the skin on our face. So we need to pay attention to that too. And I wish I knew what I'm about to tell you 10 years ago when I was 28 years old because that probably would have made a big difference in how my skin looks now. But you know what? I'm happy I'm at least able to share it with you and of course my daughter. So although I'm in my shower, my first body care ritual starts before the shower and that's every morning I dry brush. Now I have a whole video on dry brushing, my technique, how I do it, the tutorial, the benefits of it. So check that out. But I do this outside of the shower. I just left it in here for convenience purpose. This is huge for me though and I highly recommend you do it too. After I finish dry brushing, I get into the shower and I do have a rain shower, which is something I've always wanted. I finally have one, I'm so excited. And the next thing I do is use a body wash. Now, back in the day, I used to use all those perfumey, super fragrance body washes that were not only just full of <laughs> who knows what, probably very bad ingredients in that fragrance category. You know how I feel about that but they also contain the sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lorth sulfate. These are ingredients that make the product foam. They can be very skin thinning. And I have to say, ever since I cut them out of my body care routine, I personally feel that my skin does seem just healthier. It looks better. It's not as dried out, that's for sure. And I, th I think it looks a bit thicker. It feels a bit thicker. It feels a bit more youthful, if that makes sense. So these are the two body washes that I like to use. The first one is the one I use in the morning. This is the Dermalogica Conditioning Body Wash. And this has tons of great ingredients in it, lots of oils. It smells like a five-star spa, but all of these scents in it are from natural sources. It's not a fragrance perfume type thing. There is tea tree, tea tree oil in it, which I've said before, I don't like to put on my face, but every morning I exercise, or in theory I exercise every morning, and I like to have a little bit of that tea tree just to help kind of whisk away all the excess dirt and sebum that's on my skin. So this is a fantastic body wash. And in the evening, I use this one. This is the Eucerin Ure Urea Repair Plus. This is a 5% urea body wash. Urea is fantastic if you have dry skin like mine. My skin is like the Dubai desert. It is so dry. And I do like to use, uh, I'm sorry, I do like to use body lotions. And now I've been using body wash that contains urea. I find it very skin softening. The thing about urea is you don't want to use a foot cream, which I think would be around a 10% on your body because that can actually cause it massive flaking. So keep it to use a body product for your body. Uh, you know what I mean? Don't use a foot product on your body. I do want to say the ingredients in this are all fantastic. Both of these products, you know how I am about ingredients. There is lactic acid in this as well, which I think is pretty great. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid and it helps to gently exfoliate the skin. It's great for dry skin because it also does help to reignite the ceramide production in your skin. So your skin's going to be more moisturized. These are two fantastic body washes. This one is definitely something you can find in Walmart, Walgreens, Target, Target. And this one is a little bit more high end, but I could easily use this both morning and night. I just like to feel in the morning is sort of a ritual for me, a spa-like feel. Now I am getting laser hair removal all over my body, but right now I still do have leg hair that grows back in between treatments. I do not use um, shaving, gel shaving foam, uh-uh. 
Instead, I actually use just very cheap coconut oil. Now, this is a brand called Coconad. It's from Kerala, India. I live in Dubai, so we have lots of uh, Indian products. And this is just a normal, wonderful coconut oil. If you have a coconut oil and it's hard, just keep it underneath the shower head for a few minutes, hot water, and it will uh, loosen it right up and liquefy it. So I use coconut oil to shave my legs instead of using shower foam. Once my body is mostly dry, maybe just a little bit damp, I don't mind, but mostly dry, I then put on my body lotion. I do mix it with my SPF, which I'll show you in a minute, but first I wanna share with you the lotion that I love to use. This is by Bioderma, and it is the Ultra Nourishing Cream for dry and sensitive skin. Now, all the ingredients in here are fantastic. It is loaded with occlusives. Those are ingredients that are going to keep moisture in the skin. Really important for someone like me. This does have mineral oil in it, and mineral oil is actually safe for the skin. It's okay to use, and it has been determined that it does not clog pores. Now, mineral oil will leave a sort of a protective layer on the skin, so other ingredients can come in or get stuck underneath, and that can cause your pores to clog if you're prone to acne or blackheads on your body. But if you're like me and you're not, this is, oh, fantastic. I use this morning and night and it really does just keep my skin so nicely hydrated and soft and smooth. For my sunscreen, I like to use the Bioderma Photoderm Max SPF 50 Plus. This is a chemical sunscreen. I prefer to use chemical sunscreens over mineral because I live in the Middle East and there is a lot of sun here and a lot of sweat. So a mineral sunscreen, I will sweat off in just minutes. Whereas this, as long as I keep reapplying it, I feel like my body has the best protection it possibly can. It's really important that you use sunscreen indoors as well because UVA rays can penetrate through glass. And the UVA rays are the ones that go into our skin and damage our collagen and really cause that premature aging. This is a fantastic sunscreen. I also just love the fact it's so easy to use. I put this on my kids as well, and it's just, oh, it makes my life a lot easier. So I will put my lotion in my hand and just give it a bunch of squirts and then rub everything together, kind of my own little concoction, and then rub that all over my body. Throughout the day, when I think of it, I'm not one of those one every two hours. I should be, but you know, there's, I try, I try. And what I'll do is I'll just put some right in my hand and reapply my chest, my arms, my hands, and anywhere else where skin is exposed. But I do use this sunscreen all over my entire body 365 days a year. So while I am saturated in my body lotions, usually what I'll do is I kind of time my morning around to fit this in. And as everything's sort of soaking in, and I'm just giving it a few minutes because there is nothing worse than trying to put on a pair of jeans when your legs are full of lotion. What I like to do actually is I journal. And this is something that I never thought I would do. I was really never into this. I wasn't even a kid with a diary, but I started doing journaling about a year ago. And honestly, that little 10 minutes, it's such a day changer and it's a, it's a, life changer. But what I always do if you're new to this and you're kind of interested in it, but not really sure, start making a list of just things you're grateful for. And you know, it can be anything. It can be you're grateful for the meal you had last night. You're grateful for, I actually wrote mascara in it. I write a lot of things. Mascara was one of them though. And the funny story behind that is my son asked me if he could use my eyelash curler. He thought they cut the eyelashes and he's like, well, why are you so short mom? And I said, what do you mean? He goes, that thing you use to cut them. That's why they're so short. And I'm like, no. And he said, well, mine are really long like a girl's and I need to cut my eyelashes. I look like a girl. I want my eyelashes to look more like yours, mom. So, you know, I wrote mascara. I'm grateful for mascara in my book because he keeps me humble. I'm also grateful for him. But you know, when you start doing that, all of a sudden you just get this sort of explosion in your mind and it gets these sort of creative juices flowing and you just start thinking of more and more things. You start to write those down. 
And all of a sudden you take a step back and you think, wow, I actually thought I was in such a bad place in my life and I have so much stuff going on for me. And then I write a list of all the things I wanna bring into my life, like sort of my intentions, my manifestations. And then I just sign it. And I do that every day and you know what? Most of the things I've wanted to bring into my life have happened. And I have just this backlog in my mind constantly running of so many things I'm grateful for. And after I finish writing it, 10 minutes is up and everything is mostly absorbed and I am ready to go. And if you feel kind of funny about this, you kind of want to do it, but you're not really sure like what will people think, you don't have to tell anyone. It can be your secret. It can be, it's your business. You don't have to tell your business to anyone you don't want to tell them. And it is your right to write down your list and to keep it and that's for you and you alone. So don't forget that either. Now, after my body care routine is done, I then will sometimes put on a little bit of makeup. And if you want to find a really just easy, natural, quick, fun, simple makeup tutorial, I have a new one right here.